Breaking news tonight at 5 o'clock. Parts of the Bay Area are bracing for rolling blackouts tonight. PG&E PG is warning more than half a million customers their power may be cut for a time due to high energy demand. And this comes as the Bay Area is being slammed with a record-breaking heat wave. Don't have to tell you that. Temperatures soaring above 110 degrees in parts of the East Bay today. Thanks for being with us tonight at 5 o'clock, everybody. I'm Grant Lotus. And I'm Catherine Heenan in for Vicki Liviakis tonight. Well, at risk, parts of the peninsula, the East Bay, and the South Bay, all of them in places could face blackouts. Crown Force Dan Kerman has been tracking the latest from PG&E and California's power grid operator. And Dan, uh, what do we know tonight? Well, the power grid operator, we're watching the power grid right here just to keep our eye on things and how close we're coming. You know, it turns out that we came very close to those rotating outages last night, but people cut back enough so we weren't in for that. But the heat is worse today, and as a result, we might be in for those rotating outages tonight. The other thing we have to keep our eye on are those heat-related outages. One is planned, one is unplanned. Tonight, with electricity demand forecast at an all-time high of 51,276 megawatts, we're going to need at least 2,000 megawatts of additional flexible demand or backup generation to avoid an energy emergency alert 3 and the real potential for rotating outages. Around 2.30 Tuesday afternoon, Cal ISO issued a video statement warning that the potential for rotating power outages was approaching. Today, the demand for power on the California grid is expected to be at an all-time high, and we've entered what is going to be the most challenging day so far of this unprecedented heat wave. Pacific Gas and Electric has responded by notifying 525,000 customers across their service area that they may be impacted if Cal ISO moves to stage three. We did want to notify our customers with as much advance notice as possible of that possibility. Customers can go to PG&E's Rotating Outages website and plug in their address to see if they may be impacted. And if so, when? Pacific Gas and Electric says not everyone will be out at the same time and some areas will not be impacted at all. These outages would last about an hour to two hours um, and we do just want to let folks know that there is that possibility so that they are as prepared as possible. In addition to rotating outages, PG&E is preparing for unplanned outages when transformers blow because they haven't had time to cool down. This is something we already have experienced, mostly on Monday night. We did experience outages impacting about 45,000 customers. Uh, we have been able to restore those customers, um, but it is very extreme. Our equipment um, really needs a chance to cool down. So two things you have to keep in mind tonight. One are those heat-related outages. Those are unplanned when the transformers just blow because they haven't had a chance to cool off. PG&E moving crews in that direction, in the direction they think that could happen because of the heat. The other thing are those rotating outages. And again, Cal ISO says it's a possibility. PG&E has let 525,000 customers know they could be part of those rotating outages. Again, we're still waiting for a word from Cal ISO. In the meantime, people being advised to cut back as much energy as possible in the meantime. Reporting live, Dan Kerman, Cron 4 News, back to you in the studio.